click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, welcome back to the subject electromagnetic field theory. This is the chapter number 7, the steady magnetic field and we are with the 17th video, the curl and Stokes theorem. The term curl we were introduced in the first chapter that is vector analysis. We have described the curl using the tail operator what we have called vector spatial derivative operator. Thereupon we have seen the rotation of the vector and further we have seen the Stokes theorem which represents the line integral representation of the same vector field with the surface integral and the curl of the vector same field. Now let us apply the curl and Stokes theorem into the magnetic field with this video. So let us see the details. In the first chapter vector analysis, <coughs> the curl we have represented by the del operator having this symbol with cross with any vector field A. So if A was in the rectangular coordinate system AX, AX cap plus AY, AY cap plus AZ, AZ cap, we used to represent A bar uh, <coughs> curl that is del bar cross of A bar by having the formula AX cap, AY cap, AZ cap in the first row of the determinant. Here we used to have partial differentiations with respect to x, y and z and here we had the coefficients of this vector that is capital AX, capital AY, capital AZ. Actually the physical interpretation of the curl is rotation of a vector. So rotation of a vector I can show you with some another diagram. So if this is the line segment, it has certain magnitude. This is the starting point and this is the ending point. If I put a direction to it, I can mention it A bar. So A bar holds certain magnitude A bar into the direction. Let us give it by the unit vector A suffix A cap. So this is form a vector. Now let us keep the starting point of the A bar to be at the same location and changing the location of tip of the vector A so that it follows a certain rotation from the original position it come back to the same position so it will be a circle traced here so inside this circle I show you the original position of A bar so A bar from this position let us say it has achieved this position then this position then this position so if we show the vector orientations we have the same source point and the tail point that we have changed from this to this to this to we are coming back to the original position the tip traces a circle the tip traces a circle which has certain area so thereupon we have the curl defined that is with respect to the surface area trace whatever is the rotation of the vector that we have mathematical model and given the symbol del bar cross of a bar. If we have del bar dot with a bar that used to be divergence and that we have applied into the chapter number 2 that is Coulomb's law and electric field intensity further where we have the divergence theorem in the next chapter. So thereupon the relation of the expansion of the field was there. So here we have rotation of the field. In electric field if a charge Q is there, so on the positive magnitude of the charge we see the electric flux lines generated and that, has, that are going radially outward in the search of negative charge which is experimentally proved here. So now this is actually expansion hence we applied divergence theorem there and to a current carrying conductor if current in some direction so if the surrounding will be filled up with the magnetic flux lines so these are having rotating nature hence we try to interpret magnetic field by the use of curl here now the last video was with ampere circuital law 
according to the ampere circuit law we can have the relation closed line integral h bar dot of dl bar is equal to i n closed this was the very first relation we have written by the statement of ampere circuit law now this ampere circuit law is useful when we have the current distributions uniform the closed line path we follow to determine h bar dot of dl bar to have a symmetrical shape now if we have encountered a situation where the current distribution is not symmetrical as well the path to integrate is also not symmetrical so that time we cannot directly apply the ampere circuit law whatever the del bar uh, h bar dot of dl bar we have to integrate over the closed counter we have to split into the parts now for consideration if we take z axis and it is carrying certain current through it so a uh, surrounding to the z axis if the path is not symmetrical it has been uh, separated in some segments let us say these are the four segments so upward currents gives this direction to the magnetic flux so i have to split the closed line integral h bar dot of dl bar into four segments for first one second one third one and the fourth one so that i can represent closed line integral h bar dot of dl bar will be equal to from point 1 to point 2 h bar dot of dl1 bar plus from 2 to 3 we are having h bar dot of dl2 bar plus from 3 to 4 we have h bar dot of dl3 bar and from 4 back to 1 we have h bar dot of dl4 bar so here we encounter four types of differential lengths dl1 bar dl2 bar dl3 bar dl4 bar that originally have the symmetry but entire dl bar does not hold the symmetry so that way we have to split this del bar cross of uh, h bar dot of dl bar for the closed line integration now the diagram we have taken into consideration z to be the direction of the current so that time this loop this loop forms the closed path so for this closed path we have to obviously take into consideration y axis this dimension and x axis this dimension so the dimension for the closed path if it forms a rectangular shape this will be delta y from this corner to this corner and from this corner to this corner we have to take into account the dimensions delta x now the closed line integral h bar dot of dl bar what we have to split into the four parts will further result upon combination that is equal to closed line integral h bar dot of dl bar approximated to partial differentiation of x for h y minus del del y of h x delta x into delta y and this approximates us to capital i or differential you take as we have taken the dimensions of the closed path along the x and along the y we have the partial differentiations with respect to the x with respect to the y for the hy and hx component further which is going to give us delta i which we can see uh, according to ampere circuit law closed line integral of h bar dot of dl bar is equal to i enclosed now to this relation if we take delta x into delta y to the left hand side delta x into delta y actually is the multiplication of the two dimensions of the closed path in differential or incremental a uh, way you can say so this forms differential surface ds bar or let us represent it with delta s bar delta s bar so this equation gets the form closed line integral h bar dot of dl bar upon delta s so this is equal to delta i 
so i in the direction of z i put z as the suffix here this is also divided by s so from the above relation whatever the numerator was here that is delta i z so we put the unit here in si system that is amperes the surface area is in the terms of meter square ampere per meter square so this in turn gives us the current density this in turn gives us the current density for the entire region into the consideration we have to make limit delta s tends to zero so that we can get to a single point into the region the line integral of h bar dot of dl bar upon delta s will be equal to limit delta s tends to zero it will be delta i z upon delta s which further we can get in the form of current density that i mentioned capital j bar and this closed line integral h bar dot of dl bar upon delta s for the limit delta s tends to zero i mention this is the curl that is del bar cross of h bar so here del bar cross of h bar is equal to j bar what we have just introduced into the previous uh, topic that is ampere circuital law is actually the point form or differential form of ampere's circuital law so here the relation del bar cross of h bar is equal to j bar holds the unit ampere per meter square now the h bar can also be given to us in cartesian coordinates cylindrical coordinates or in spherical coordinates hence we require the formula to get curl of h bar in these three coordinate systems so i just give you the formula for determination of curl of h bar so in rectangular coordinate system del bar cross of h bar is equal to you can have from the determinant del del y of h z minus del del z of h y in multiplication with a x cap plus del del z of h x minus del del x of h z in multiplication with a y cap plus here we have del del x of h y minus del del y of hx in multiplication with z or you can take the formula what we have written that is determinant first row to be the unit vectors ax cap ay cap az cap the second row to have partial differentiation so of del del x del del y and del del z and the third row to hold hx hy and hz will give you the same result so this is curl of h into the rectangular also called cartesian coordinate system if you encounter cylindrical coordinate system you have to use del bar cross of h bar given by the formula the first term will be having del bar cross of h bar will be equal to the first term will be having 1 upon rho partial differentiation of phi uh, partial differentiation of h z with respect to phi minus partial differentiation of h phi with respect to z multiplication with a rho cap the second term will be added that is having del del z of h rho minus del del rho of h z in multiplication with a phi cap and the third term we have one upon rho in bracket we have del del rho rho h phi minus del del phi h rho we have it is in multiplication with a z cap so here we involve rho phi and z so in terms of cylindrical coordinate system you can determine the curl of h bar now the third formula and the last one will be for the spherical coordinate system somewhat lengthy but simple to calculate so here we have the first term 1 upon r sin theta the multiplicative bracket here it will be partial differentiation with respect to the theta or sin theta into h phi minus 
del del phi of h theta here we have in multiplication with a r cap plus 1 upon r in bracket we have 1 upon sin theta del del phi of h r minus del del r of r h phi a theta cap and the third term here we have that is 1 upon r in bracket del del r r h theta minus del del theta of h r in multiplication with a phi cap. So r theta phi are the three coordinates from the spherical coordinate system. So thus we have the three formulae to determine curl if the vector is given in Cartesian coordinate system, cylindrical coordinate system or in spherical coordinate system. So here del bar cross of h bar that is curl of h bar we have related to the current density j bar. Now from the integral form of ampere circuital law here we have closed line integral h bar dot of dl bar is equal to i n closed that is in terms of surface integral j bar dot of ds bar. So from the point form of ampere circuital law if we substitute j bar is equal to del bar cross of h bar. So we get the relation so that relation we can write closed line integral h bar dot of dl bar will be equal to surface integral in place of j bar inside the bracket I put del bar cross of h bar dot product with ds bar. So this is the equation which involves the same vector field onto the left hand side as well as right hand side. This is the representation for the same vector field in closed line integral here on LHS and for surface integral of curl of that vector field into the right hand side. So this is nothing but Stokes theorem. Stokes theorem we have also seen into the first chapter that is vector analysis. Here edge bar is magnetic field intensity. So according to the Stokes theorem for the static magnetic field or steady magnetic field you can state that the integration of tangential component of magnetic field intensity along a closed path is equal to the integration of normal component of curl of the same magnetic field intensity over the surface enclosed by this closed path. So this completes the topic curl and Stokes theorem. I hope you have you can remember the formulae for determination of the curl and the Stokes theorem. In the next video we are going to solve three problems based on to the curl and Stokes theorem. For getting more information on to our subject electromagnetic field theory, you can subscribe to Ikeda channel. Thank you.